Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Mayville, New York, the home of the annual 4th of July, July Parade. I'm Doc Hamels. I'm going to be your host today for the next couple hours. Today we're starting out with a little bit of light rain, but as you can see with my friends over here to my right, nothing is going to stop this parade. We're going to get our umbrellas out, our slickers, whatever we need. It's going to be a great day. The weather says that it's going to improve as we go along. So come on out and join us. There's thousands of people going to be lining the streets here. Randy, my sidekick, uh, and I are going to be going up to the staging area and we're going to visit with a few folks and see what's going on before the parade a little something different than we've done before well folks as you can plainly see behind me on route 394 here right smack dab in front of the courthouses in Mayville the parade is starting to take shape you don't see too many people yet but you're starting to see pop-up tents you're seeing chairs lined the streets about 10 o'clock that's when the cannon's going to go off and the whole thing's going to be starting here and we're going to be covering just about every minute of it for you here at Access Cable 5. Folks, you, you might be wondering, how does the parade get organized? Well, one of the first steps is you have to fill out a form, you have to mail it in, and then on the day of the parade, you got to come over here to the to the Brain Trust, the center of all the activity. You can't get into the parade unless you check in with these folks. Folks, how's it going today? Oh, some are getting wet, but hey, they're all coming in. We're excited to see. Them. I see fire trucks rolling, and I see floats, and I hear bands. So how many how many folks are going to be in the parade? Do you have any idea? 120. 120. 121. And it's growing, Randy. It's it's increasing. So so we were, we were discussing how, how long the parade has been around for probably 100 years, maybe? 75? Even at 100, but I know it was going well in the early 60s, I know that it was. So it goes back to the 60s anyways. So from what I understand, this is one of the largest uh, county or town uh, parades in, in, in at least New York State, right? It is a county, county parade. It's a county parade. It's a county parade. Well, I learned something new right there. This is the county parade. All right, well, we're going to let you get back to work here, and we're going to go check out some of the floats and uh, the bands back there, okay? Thank you. Okay. Hey folks, we're uh, stopping in and seeing some of the floats and uh, folks that are being marching here today. And uh, Randy and I saw all these pink balloons here and said, we got to stop and find out what's going on. So what is going on here? Uh, we're Diana Warriors. We're supporting breast cancer awareness. Super. Um, this is actually our five-year anniversary. We've been doing this since two, July 2008. Um, and this is our five years. We started out with 26 supporters. We have over 100 supporters, if not more. And so all these folks are coming out today. Yes, they they are. I'm going to be dressed yeah. like you. Can you imagine 100 people dressed like me today? <laughs> well, we're going to see you guys. We'll be waving at you. Great. And what's the message you want to tell people? <laughs> well, it's this is something that you're working towards. I know that. Um, just um, breast cancer yeah. awareness and support prevention and support. support get yourselves cause. checked out. Yeah, get your uh, mammograms. <laughs> and I know at the Westfield Hospital we uh, they offer them there and yes. James uh, uh, WCA and, uh, and every place else. Yeah. So it's an important thing, folks. Stay healthy and get your uh, test done. Well, here we go again. Well, this this gentleman here looks like my brother. We uh, his beard just a little bit longer, but gosh, you're all dressed up in period dress. Uh, what uh, year are you supposed to be representing? Uh, 1812, thereabouts. Okay, and are you like a reenactment uh, actor or just what's no, going on here? What's going on is I ended up with this gun and it was a lemon, and I'm making lemonade out of it. Hey guys, continuing on with our coverage of the behind the scenes of the parade, we've got Les from the, uh, where am I, Holly Loft. Holly Loft. Uh, what's going on today, Les? Uh, big doings going on. We've got the uh, quite a bit of the team members here. We're going to do the parade. Have a lot of fun. All right. Uh, how many folks are riding today? Uh, so far we've got about uh, 15. 15 folks. 15, yep. And they, uh, my buddy Jim Holler behind me here. From Trinity Guitars. How's that for free advertising? You guys rode here from Jamestown? Well, we, we uh, met up, four of us, four of us hardcores met up at uh, Les's shop oh. and rode here from uh, from Lakewood. From Lakewood. So your yeah. shop's in Lakewood? Uh, just outside of Lakewood, Jamestown. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, so how long did it take you? Uh, we didn't keep track of the time today. <laughs> so did you leave yesterday? <laughs> no, we left about 8 o'clock. Oh, 8 o'clock and you got here already? Probably 20 miles. R Randy just did a race for uh, for uh, cancer up in what, Rochester? And 
Roswell, the Roswell run, and they airlifted him home. <laughs> Anyways, I'll take a shot of who's here. Look, I got all kinds of bikes here. And folks, and Herbie, who's Herbie? All right, let's see who Herbie is. Come on. I'm going to come over on this side. I, oh, I see. That's Herbie the Love Bug. Look at that. That's that's. Hey, Randy, that's your. That's just about your, your alley. I think you should ride that next year for Roswell. Is that bicycle power? Uh, got someone else is going to be. Somebody else is coming in. All right. <laughs> that looks like Jim's ugly brother. Hey guys, here's a little friend of mine, Dan. Dan, what is going on over here? Well, we've got the Chadwick Bay Buccaneers Drum and Bugle Corps. We're out of Fredonia. We're going to be marching in the parade today uh, in the first division. In the first division, what does that mean? Uh, up front toward the beginning of the parade. Okay, well, can they? All right, everybody, give me a key of C. Come on, guys, hit it. <laughs> Well, I guess, I guess they're they're not ready yet. We're just starting to warm up. <laughs> okay, well, you wave at us as you come by. We're going to be out by the library, okay? All right, All right great. You take care. We'll see you there. Okay, guys, we saw registration. We've seen bands warming up and people getting their groups together. But back here behind where most of us go to the motor vehicles building, there's more staging going on, and we're going to take a little look. But have a look. This is large, and you got people still coming in. We've got groups assembling. I see floats and decorations, and boy, this is a big time. Everybody is putting out their best and getting in their costumes. Well, folks, the rain is starting to let up. I think Mary had something to do with it. Uh, wow, this is quite a float, Mary. What's going on here? Well, this is AMVETS Post 726 Auxiliary and Sons. We're one of our uh, area's veteran service organizations. Right. And we are out to say happy birthday, America, and to say that we support our troops and God bless our military. Even though it's raining out, we are here. We have a bunch of sunshiny faces. Hope everybody comes out and has a great time with us. So what's your theme here? I see... The theme of the parade this year is USA Unselfish Service to America. And as we know, our veterans, our active service members... What can you say? Unselfish? A hundred percent. But anyways, AMVETS, we are largely involved with community service, child welfare, Americanism programs. We are here to help wherever we can because that's what our military is fighting for, the freedom to help others and to do things. Okay. Make a great America. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. And if you can see, I, this, I think this could be a, a prize winner. This is a beautiful float. Hope so. All right. As people may hear, yeah, they're already here. Everybody want to say hi? <laughs> hey, all right. Okay, folks. Well, people don't know this, but there is competition in the parade, and there's various categories. So we're going to be waving at you when you come by, and you right. do the same. We'll get you on film again. Sing with us. I can sing. Okay. Hey folks, we have county royalty today. Is I don't know if I've ever talked to a princess before. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? And your name is Samantha. Yep, Samantha. And Samantha, you're representing whom here? The Chautauqua County Dairy Princess. So how how did you get this honor? Um, we had a pageant in early June, and we had to do like a speech in front of a bunch of people, and there were three judges, and we had an interview. Uh huh. Were you nervous? <laughs> Not bit. as nervous as you are now. <laughs> hey, who are all these fine, lovely ladies? This is the alternate, uh -huh. Ariel Slavin, and these are all the ambassadors. Want to say hi to everybody on TV land? Say hi! hi. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Who's that behind you? <laughs> That's the cow. That's your cow. All right. Well, we're uh, just going around talking to everybody behind the scenes here, and we're going to be looking forward to seeing your uh, float as you come by. So make sure when you see us, wave. I'll have this crazy, oh, crazy looking shirt. Okay. Have a great day. Stay dry. Thanks, you, John. Who gets to drive the track for you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, folks. Thank you. Folks, this is where it's all going to start in just a little while. If you were sitting at home watching, this parade goes on until well after 12 o'clock. So you still come on down. I have two special guys. They have uh, the most important job in the whole parade because without these guys, the parade doesn't start. So what do we got under this tarp, guys? What is this thing? An 1860 half-size Civil War cannon. Okay, and what are we shooting today? Blanks. Blank. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. Okay, so how long have you guys been um, putting this cannon in the parade? 
we've had it here. Th this will be 38 years. 38, 38 years. And have you shot it all those years? Yeah. So you're almost as old as the cannon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I wish I was that age. <laughs> so I see you're representing both sides of the yeah. of the situation here. How'd you get on the on the gray? He's just rebel. happened that just happened that the way. uniform fit huh? Yeah. all right so let's see what's under this 1860 half cannon yeah, half right. size cannon all right oh my gosh look at this guys whoa hey Randy check this out look at this beautiful beautiful cannon so is this an, uh, is this authentic or is this a reproduction this is this a, a reproduction reproduction, reproduction. authentic to a half size Civil War cannon okay so say that again this, this is a half-size Civil War cannon. Okay. The real gun would be twice this big. Holy mackerel. Everything, the wheels, the limber. The limber, everything would be twice this big. All right, so this is half-scale. Yeah. And so how do you know when to shoot this thing off? They will they, give us a signal at 10 o'clock. Okay. So 10 o'clock. And you'll yell, set, fire in a hole. Yep, fire in a hole. And, and I'll pull up. Boom! <laughs> it so it's sort of like fireworks early in the day, huh? Very early. All right, so you, uh, someone's going to be in the middle of the, of the intersection here at 394. They're going to drop their hand, and then you guys take over from there. And when we hear this resounding boom, I guess Randy's going to try to get this on film, so you guys are going to be on film again. Oh. So, all right, well, thanks for uh, uh, letting me uh, stop by here, and I'm going to go take my post down below. We'll see okay. you soon. Thanks, guys. We don't need to bowl the lawn now. <laughs> Did you get that one?